Hello, it's Glamstract here. Another video, another foundation review. And today's foundation is the Sublimage Letained by Chanel. This is what the foundation looks like outside of this box. And the foundation shade that I usually get with my Chanel foundations is number 20 beige. This foundation also comes with is little foundation brush that's pretty cute. It has the logo on the back and it's quite nice and big and sturdy. You know, it's a proper proper Chanel brush, just cut in half to get the little spatula to scoop out some of the product so you avoid digging your fingers inside. And it does also come with a little booklet, which is actually quite thick. You know that this foundation is expensive when you see a booklet like this. It's like, um, oh my God. I'm just gonna um, cut through some stuff. I'm not gonna read you everything, but I can only tell you that it's infused with intense vanilla planifolia water, which apparently is very hydrating, uh, moisturizing. And I mean, it's infused with diamond powder that creates that nice luminosity to the skin. I mean, they do sell it as a sort of anti-aging foundation, but I don't think it says anywhere that it's like an anti-aging foundation. Maybe it does have those, you know, moisturizing, super hydrating, um, ingredients but it's not it doesn't say basically anti-aging anywhere just before we skip to makeup application please follow me on my instagram you can find me there at glamstract where i share looks every now and then and also more insight about products that i've used on my every other day videos it comes with an extra protection on the top lid that you take off and it reveals the foundation inside it's a very very cream texture very thick smell wise not really like a strong scent is like typical chanel this is the foundation shade 20 beige is a classic for me i always use the 20 beige i do have to say just before we start this makeup application that this foundation brush is really nice but i didn't really enjoy a hundred percent the application with the actual brush itself i don't know it didn't give me I don't know, I felt like the product underneath was moving too much because yes, it's nice and dense as a foundation, but I don't know, it just, for me, it just didn't work as much as other YouTubers I've seen using it. It might be because I'm super obsessed about the Dior foundation brush number 12 and I got so used to this one now that I feel like any other foundation brush that I use, it's like, it's nice, but... I like this more so i don't know it might be because of that reason but it's a good foundation brush and i've used it before i used it also with a beauty blender to see you know the difference in different ways mm, but this this is always my favorite you know favorite way to apply foundation on myself at least i'm just gonna take the little brush and kind of dot as it showed on the picture on the very thick booklet where you should apply this foundation but i think i'm just gonna dot it more right off the back very very sheer coverage very natural looking and i'm obsessed trying the other foundation brush i don't know if you have this foundation if you used it before um or if you ever used any other foundations or even the, I mean, not the foundation, the actual brush itself. If you use this foundation brush by Chanel, do you get that, I mean, it creates texture on my skin. Every time I use that one, it kind of like, especially around this area over here, like very close to my eyes around the nose here, I feel like I get texture when I use that foundation brush. It just sort of like erase some sort of little spots, like it looks like almost like goosebumps. They just erase in this area over here every time I use that foundation brush. It's not the foundation itself because I've been using a beauty blender and I'm using this one and it's not doing it. Is that even possible? Sometimes I just feel like, um, is that right? Because I mean, it should be the foundation itself if it creates a reaction on the skin, but it's not actually the foundation, it's the brush. So I'm thinking like, I wonder why, because now I'm just inspecting and no, I don't see those weird goosebumps raising on this area on my eye. Just so weird. But with that said, this foundation, I mean, it's Chanel. You can't go wrong. If you like a very light coverage, hydrating, 
you know, it feels really lightweight. It feels really hydrating. At first, when I purchased this foundation, I was actually a little bit worried because looking at how thick and dense that foundation looked in that jar, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be super heavy on the skin. It's gonna give me a super hydration, almost oily. Um, so I was like, should I be worried? Should I be not? But then trying it on the skin, it actually feels weightless. It feels so nice. It feels super hydrating. It almost feels like soothing and fresh on the skin, this foundation. It's like a sort of like spa feeling every time I apply this foundation on my skin. I don't know if you had the same experience, but um, it feels extremely soothing and refreshing every time I apply this foundation on the skin. Completely the opposite of what I was thinking when I first purchased it. I was looking in the jar, I was like, oh my god, this is thick. But actually, no, I was totally wrong. And I can see that diamond powder that they mentioned on the booklet because look at the glow that this foundation is providing you everywhere. It's not just the high points, literally like I can see around my nose, I can see on my forehead. It's just beautiful, gorgeous. Have you ever tested this foundation? If you have, let me know in the comment down below. Oh, let me know also because I'm so curious to know because I love this brand. What is your favorite Chanel foundation? What do you use on the daily? Like, I just really want to know what other people think as well. Because I love Chanel and I love, as you know, Dior. I could share a video about Dior every single day. But yes, I love these brands. And I always like curious to know if other people have used it as well. Because it's just, I'm so curious to know what their experience are. If like they have the same experience or if they have different experience. It's like, I just want to know. Let me know in the comment below. Okay, so this is foundation applied all over my skin. If we zoom in, I can show you how gorgeous this foundation is. So, so hydrating. As I said, it feels like a spa on top of my face. That's how I feel about this. Is it weird? It's so beautiful. It's like so lightweight. It gives you a very nice light coverage. If you want more coverage, go for a second layer for sure because this is not giving you a first layer like a full coverage. This is not a full coverage foundation anyway. I forgot to say actually I've used the Vitamin Rich Face Base by Bobbi Brown as usual. And also um, my skincare is the usual, the Origins Mega Mushroom line. Just in case you have a similar, you know, skincare priming regime. So you know how this foundation will feel on the skin. It's gorgeous. I mean, for the price point, it must be gorgeous. It's like about hundred pound. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer as we're doing Chanel. I'm just gonna keep a Chanel. Um, this is the correct um, concealer, I believe it's called. Sorry if I botched the name. And I have it in the same shade as the foundation, which is the 12, not 12, sorry, number 20. Which, by the way, <clears throat> if you are a B20 in Chanel foundation, I suggest you to go with a B10 concealer because I noticed that this B20 concealer um, is perfect if you just want to have a concealer day, no foundation, because it really, you know, it's very neutral, neutral as a, as a tone. But if you want it over your foundation, this is almost a little bit too yellow to go on top of a foundation. So... I would say go with a B10 and definitely when this one is finished, I'm going to go and purchase a B10 instead of a B20. I'm going to go very quickly off camera now and do the rest of my face and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. And I'm back. So this is the final results. I've done the rest of my face. I'm going to quickly tell you what I've used on my face off camera. For lips, I've used the Extra Lip Tint by Bobbi Brown in shade Nude. Powder, I've used my usual Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Loose Powder, I can never remember the full name, in shade Butter. Concealer, you've seen the Chanel Correct. For my eyes, I've used the Volidum Chanel Mascara. Then I've used the um, Jungle Rock um, the Wet n Wild collab with Breton Rock. Basically, all the color I've used are this three on top here. King of the Jungle, Don't Be a Lion, and Pole, Prol. And I've used it all over my eyelid, kind of mixed them together. And to create the liner that you're seeing right now, I've used the Alpha, which is this dark, this black, which is not really black. And that's why I like it. It's like a, you can build it up to become a darker color, but 
so you know you can also create like a nice just like a sort of very dark gray almost black liner for my face i've used um like a three in one sort of palette this is the becca palette collab with chloe kardashian malika i've used all of them basically so i used the blushes the highlighter and the bronzer in fact i looked extra bronze today because it has those kind of like red-ish um yellow undertones that makes me look like i've been to the seaside or something and for brows the usual bra mvp by fenty beauty to complete the look of course, we are here for the foundation itself, the Le Sublimage Le Taint foundation by Chanel is a beautiful foundation. It feels extremely hydrating and it feels really radiant on the skin. The only critique I have is with its actual brush, but this is very, very personal because I don't know if other people have the same experience. I feel like when I apply this foundation with this brush, I, it creates some sort of texture around the nose slash eye area here and uh, I'm not very pleased because I can see those sort of goosebumps around my eyes it's like what the hell is going on but rather than that I'm still going to be using this foundation brush I need to use it actually with different foundations and see if maybe you know works with other foundations as well because these are pretty brush and I'm sure if you go and buy the original brush itself it's it's not cheap so it's nice that it comes with the foundation it feels very weightless on the skin it's nice and luminous it's just you know all you want in a foundation really it's like nothing that is blowing your mind at the same time very simple very sheer coverage very natural everyday sort of foundation i would say if you like this video please give it a thumbs up but also if you didn't like it give it a thumbs up as well because why not let's spread the love while you're here on youtube why don't you just subscribe to my youtube page just over here also follow me if you want on my instagram account you can find me there at glamstract and what else can i say thank you so much for watching once again and hopefully i will see you in the next video bye